Hi, welcome to my channel, Ellen's DIYs, where I like to do everything on a budget. I've done a piece of everything over the years. DIYs, making over furniture, decorating, anything I can get my hands on. So, if you like this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's get on with this project. Hope you enjoy. Got this we set at Capability Scotland. It's for herbs. It's on a wee tray. It was three pounds, and I'm going to spray paint it. I'm going to use this to spray paint it. Very rustolium. I've turned it over so that I can do the back first. I'll probably give it several coats. I've spray painted these, after I spray painted them I've let them dry, I gave them two coats and I've added some stuff to this one to make it, show you what it's going to look like. So I've got these mosaic tiles that came in 12 by 10 strips, eh, no 12 by 6 inches strips and then um, you don't get very many, it says 2500 but that is nothing compared to what you think it's going to be. I'm just doing the trying to measure to make them all look similar. Doesn't need to be perfect. This is very sticky, so the minute you put it down, you will hardly get it back up. I've tried and I've knocked bits off the straight and centre. So I have to um, thin and fit all the way down. So I need to add a few bits to it to make it fit. The thing it takes a time in is it's actually getting it painted and dry, but even that doesn't take very long. So this will be a nightmare trying to get apart. So basically, it's got to measure it and try and get it to line up, which it didn't on the other side. So I've got some more here, I'll just put this in the middle. Nobody's going to see the back of it, so... And then I have this rhinestone wrap. Well, it's beautiful. It came in a pack like this. And this was quite expensive as well. This was like £12 for this strip, but it is beautiful. So basically, I've cut the full length of the strip and I'm going to put it through the middle of this. Once again, this is self adhesive as well. It's um, really nice. So, I'm just going to try and get this in the middle, like this. And then I'll cut an extra bit just to wrap around the bits I need. I want to use these in the bathroom to use on put my bits and pieces in my cotton buds and cotton roll and things like that. And I need a tiny little bit more. One of my kittens is having a wee moan. Now, it's really nice actually, but I think you see really sparkly. Now, I made these lids to go on top, like this. 
basically these are coasters I got from B&M I'm sure they were 3 dollars and I got these handles from Home Bargain for 2 dollars for four four of these as well and basically I just took my pen what's here and I spot it and the minute you get one side open you can just lift it Don't worry about it written because I be gluing it all back on. But I just took all the edges, the stuff in the edges away. So inside you have this and this, and obviously the back part. You're going to have to cut just the width of this off all the way down. This is a nice easy way to DIY with good results. Same with this. What I did was I just glued these together. See this? Glued this silver paper under the sparkle. Because I know then I will be cutting them at the same size. So I'm going to get a visit from my kitten. So you're just going to take the back and glue it onto the, these parts and then just a tiny bit of glue on these parts, the very edge. I'm sure it does well. I will come back and finish these, just wanted to show the, the point of it. And then one of these handles from home brackets. Place it as close as my as I can see. And that's how they look. Now, apart from the rhinestone and that, which I already had actually, this is fairly cheap. It probably last for years. Good. Thanks for watching. I hope you try this. If you do, send me a picture and let me show it to you. This is how the wee box has turned out. I've just got my cotton pads, toothpicks, and cotton buds in them. They turned out really nice. A wee bit of sparkle. Don't take up much space. So they came in handy. Hope you enjoyed these DIYs. If you did, please share with your friends and family. I'll leave a list of what I've used in the description box. Thanks for watching. Bye.